Good morning, my dear students. Okay, as we have learned the addition and subtraction, now we are going to start the in between numbers. Okay, so let's start. Okay, some numbers has been written on the board. Okay, so you have to tell me that what numbers comes in between these numbers. Okay, let's start with the first number. The first one is your sixty-seven. It is a dash and sixty-nine has been written. Now you have to tell me that which number comes in between. Okay, so you can do the counting to find out sixty-seven. After sixty-seven, what will come? Sixty-eight. Very good. Sixty-eight. So sixty-seven, sixty-eight, and sixty-nine. So sixty-eight is your in between numbers. Sixty-eight is your in between number that is in between sixty-seven and sixty-nine. Okay. Now one hundred fourteen. What comes after one hundred fourteen? Tell me. What comes after one hundred fourteen? One hundred fifteen. Very good. One hundred. Fifteen. Okay, so one hundred fifteen comes in between one hundred fourteen and one hundred sixty. Okay, so one hundred fourteen, one hundred fifteen, and one hundred sixteen. Now third number is our one hundred twenty nine. Okay, one hundred twenty nine. Can you tell me? Children, that what number comes in between one hundred twenty nine and one hundred thirty one? As you are seeing that it has been written on the board one hundred twenty nine and one hundred thirty one. Which number will come in between one hundred twenty nine and one hundred thirty one? Can you tell me? You can think. Okay, so. After one twenty nine, you can count. After one twenty nine, what will come? One hundred thirty. What will come? One three zero. That is one hundred thirty. Okay. So one hundred thirty comes in between one hundred twenty nine and one hundred thirty one. Okay. One hundred thirty comes. In between one hundred twenty nine and one hundred thirty one, okay. So these are our in between numbers. I hope you all have understand it. So you have to practice it at your home. You can do more question related to that. You can use another numbers also. So practice it, revise it, and learn it. Goodbye.